You are here because you might be wondering if tithing can really help you personally. Does it really benefit us? Or you're wondering if it's really a commandment by God? And how can we view our lives better as we pay tithing? Hello everyone, this is Mac of Faith.ph. In this series of Faith in Focus, we are going to talk about things pertaining to general Christianity and insights related to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The law of tithes was instituted in the ancient times. In the Book of Mormon, in Alma chapter 13 verse 15 records that Abraham paid tithes to Melchizedek. This principle has many promised blessings predicated upon obedience some of which are recorded in Malachi. It says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Aside from the obvious ones, there are a lot of subtle blessings that obeying the law of tithing can open up for us. Elder David A. Bednar said, I testify that as we are spiritually attentive and observant, we will be blessed with eyes that see more clearly, ears that hear more consistently, and hearts that understand more fully the significance and subtlety of his ways, his thoughts, and his blessings in our lives. Among other things, the law of tithing can be a blessing to us by opening our minds to how we can be better with our finances. Now, let's talk about how we can benefit from this commandment. Disclaimer lang ha, these are personal experiences and might be different to yours. Now, pag-usapan natin yung mga benefits nito. Since we are giving 10% in our tithing, we can now know better what we can do with the 90%. So when we break down our earnings, we're looking at 90% after tithing. It's like seeing the big picture in smaller chunks, making it easier to manage. By budgeting and being mindful of where that 90% goes, we're being responsible stewards of what we have, whether it's money, time, health, or anything else. Next is, it will change our purpose in earning. Tithing helps us see that with God, our full potential to grow is possible. We develop the faith to know that God is there to help us. Even though we are unsure of things to do, yet tithing also helps us shift our focus from just making money to building God's kingdom. It can motivate us to aim for higher incomes so we can give back more. What's important is it helps us prioritize what truly matters. It's incredible how this mindset leads to increased earnings all thanks to tithing. The next benefit is we will be more confident earners. The Lord also promised that He will rebuke and devour for your sake, and He shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field. This gives us a sense of security in our efforts to earn an income. This confidence in the workplace can help us become more efficient in our craft. Di ba napakalaking biyaya nun na we are able to focus on the task at hand because the Lord will take care of everything. Paying tithes reinforces our sense of obligation and builds responsibility and self-reliance. These qualities are prime requirements in any employment or business. Nag-provide naman ako ng tithing, pero nawalan pa rin ako ng trabaho ng pandemic. Ako rin, pero bakit ang hirap pa rin ang buhay? At parang hindi naman ako yung mayaman. A word of caution though, if we pay tithes because we expect to get rich, we are paying for the wrong reason. Although the Lord will indeed open the windows of heaven, He will do it in His own due time when we need it the most. These blessings are not to fuel our greed, but increase our understanding of the greater purpose of money. The main purpose of tithing is to take care of His children and provide means for the church to further the Lord's work here on earth. The blessings that come with that are only secondary to the privileges it affords us to be a contributor to the fulfillment of the Lord's work and His glory. Instead na mag-focus tayo if nag-increase na yung pera natin or hindi, let's look at the blessings this way. Number one, are we learning to curb addictions towards things that can hurt our budget? Number two, do we find joy in the blessings we receive now so we can have joy in even more blessings in the future? Number three, do we have faith that even though a huge blow in our finances happens, that we'll be able to get through it through the Lord's help and faith in Him. In conclusion, understanding money is just a tool is a huge blessing. Tithing protects us from falling into traps that makes us slaves to wealth. It gives us wisdom in managing our finances, 
making us better stewards. What a blessing that is for us. That's it for our video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to follow us in our other social media accounts. Until then, we will see you in the next video of Faith in Focus.